What's up everybody? It's your host Kurt Jagoon. And guys, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about basically utilizing the Skelly Spell. Uh, the Skelly Spell gives you a lot of diversity in your attack and it allows you to deal with a centralized queen or not even a centralized queen. It just gives you an idea to, to deal with things a little differently. And, and I'm going to show you in this video what I'm talking about. And each one of these attackers in this video uh, definitely has uh, well thought out attacks with the Skelly Spell. And right here we're looking at a Sui Lalo uh, by Ace of Asylum Sphere. And right there he's did Lightning Lightning EQ, took out two of the ADs, and now he's gonna Lalo. And he's got that Rage and that Skelly, and guys, he's gonna have to use that for the enemy queen. So just pay attention to how Ace does this. And right here, um, to me, I think that this was purpose. I think this was a secondary hit, and I think Ace knew that Tesla farm was there. He's uh, express or explicitly targeting that, and his royals are going to go down. I think there is a lava hound in the CC, and I think that he does not want that lava hound to be popped, and that's why he didn't care if his queen and king died. So right here, he's starting his Lalo. He's going after the bow. And as you can see, the loon pathing is going to converge in after the bow. So that's going to create a path to where everything converges, and that's where his rage is going to be. He's got to wait, guys. He's just got to wait on the speed of slow and wait on these balloons. And that sweeper is really doing some work here. But look at there, guys. Boom, the rage is down. Skelly's down. Enemy queen is down. And so is this base. Great job, Ace. Like it's not over, but it's over. That's what I'm saying. Boom, there's that last hound. Beautiful pop on that hound. Now he didn't get that bow down, unfortunately, but he still has another hound, guys. So it's going to be tanked. It's going to go to that expo, and that expo is going to go down. There's plenty of lava pups in the vicinity that are cleaning up. There's uh, the enemy CC. We see it was a lava hound. Doesn't really matter. And this base is a wrap. Great job, Ace. Excellent attack. All right, let's take a look at this hit right here. Uh, and this is by Badol2. Uh, and as we can see, we got two skelly spells in this one, guys. And we're going to keep escalating that. And I can't wait to show you the last two hits. You guys are going to be like, what? So right here, uh, he's he's uh, kind of setting up. Looks like he's targeting maybe one of the ADs here. Maybe not. He's not really going after the king and queen at all. Or the enemy CC. But he is targeting those those uh, air defense but guess what guys wall breaker fail and it's ripped the dream but it doesn't matter but duel is not concerned he's going to get some value out of his royals and then he's going to lie low the space so here comes the lalo he got 17 percent out of his royals that's not too terribly bad but let's watch how he deals with the enemy's royals. Watch these skellies. Boom, boom. Two in a rage. And yes, this is confirmed that that was a Lava Hound's uh, CC because nothing came out. The skellies have killed the king and queen. And it's going to kill the, the CC as well. So we don't have to worry about that when he wants to put his wizard out for cleanup or whatever. And it was a really beautiful Lalo right here. Look at this Lalo. He's got that last haste. Now he's going to have to go into those. Yep, there you go, guys. It's a wrap. This base is over. And Badul, that was a very beautiful execution. All right, we got another one in Clash Puff here. And this one's by Joel. And guys, look, pay attention to this attack. I love this attack. This attack is really, really cool. 
I don't know if it was a fresh hit. Joel, let me know in the comments if it was a fresh hit because you are targeting the enemy CC as well, I think. He drops three skellies, guys, three. And let's watch this. Now it does have a bow on the skellies and that bow is really putting some sport on them right now, but it does not get the enemy CC. It gets the king and queen. And so now it looked like uh, he might be trying to pull it right now. Yep, so he tried to pull it right there. So this is a fresh hit, guys, which makes this even more impressive. So now he can use his royals wherever he needs them to. He, he doesn't need them to pull that CC. It's an air CC. This is a fresh hit hype right here. Gotta love it. Look at this, guys. If he gets that wall break, look at this. Holy smokes. King's going to get an AD. Wow. That's beautiful. Beautiful work. He's going to get another AD right here, guys. And here it comes. Here comes the Lalo. Man, this, this is absolute gorgeous here. And guys, he needs his hounds to really get hit a lot here. He doesn't need to haste um, very, very quickly until that was his last hound. So he, he probably needs to move now. And that's what he did. He put that haste down to move. He needs those uh, pups for cleanup. But he don't need them as bad as you think because he has all these minions. Here comes his, uh, is he going to bring his last balloon in? Yeah, right there. And guys, that's a wrap for that base. Excellent job, Joe. Now the next hit, guys, we're going to see a very similar hit here, but there's a problem. And this is by Exiled Formality. He's got a three skelly attack. Same thing that you just seen from Joel, but watch what happens. The X bows right on top of him. It's got two cannons. And look, guys, look what's happening. The Royals are still up. I mean, this is a complete train wreck from the beginning. Complete train wreck. He is in trouble right now. So he's like, he's like scrambling. But watch this scramble. And this man, you got to give him props, guys, because watch this scramble. This is, this is what you, uh, this is when you have to go deep and go, okay, I can still do this and keep positive about your attack. So right here, he knows he's going to have to drop his royals. He doesn't have, he doesn't have uh, any choice, basically. Sorry, my dog has decided to bark. All right, and as you can see, he's, he's dropped his royals here, and they're going to start taking out these CC troops. And he's going to start his Lalo. Time is a factor, guys. Always time is a factor. He's already used the hero abilities, but now, guess what? The enemy queen is going to take out, or the uh, his queen is going to take the enemy queen. And he's starting his Lalo here, and he's got a ton of haste spells. Being that he had to utilize so much on on that attempted CC and hero kill, um, he had to use a bunch of haste instead of rage. But look at this, guys. Beautiful work here. He has completely routed the core of this base. And this base is going to go down. Not only that, his queen is still alive, which really, really shocked me here. But guys, this is what you call, uh, you know, really pulling it out of the brink here. This this thing was was a failed attack from the get go, and exiled formality brought it back. Got the three star for the guys over in AS. Good job, excellent work. And guys, if you're interested in joining my family of clans, the Circle of Clans. Uh, just hit us up. There's our Discord link right there in the thumb, but also in the description of this video. We'll talk to you if your clan's interested or if you are singly interested in our family. And guys, don't forget about the Spring Trap Show with me and Echo Through Me on Saturday or Sunday nights. And guys, with that being said, thank you so much, and I am out of here. All right, guys, I got a little false ending hype for you. Uh, I got an attack here I wanted to show you guys, and this is a Quattro Lava Loon. Uh, we don't see these all the time now. Uh, typically, we see like a Sui Lalo with, you know, three hounds. 
but this is a Quattro Lava Loon. I just wanted to show you that. And it's by Masai of Serbian Boys, or Messi, or... And watch the value he gets out of these Royals, guys. Just watch his king tanking his queen right now. And he'll hit the ability here in a minute, and then he'll kill the queen, and he'll the king will redirect to the archer tower. And look at that, guys. That's value. Got the queen. He's even going to get down the wizard tower. Now, he uses balloons here to try to pull the CC, but the queen ends up pulling it. It's a ground CC, and she's going to deal with him. Now, he used a haste. He burned a haste right there for that pull, but it's okay. That That's telling you this is a fresh hit. He did not know what he had in that CC. So it's beautiful, beautiful CC pull right here. And there you go again. There's another sign. This is definitely a fresh hit. Things happen, guys, and you have to be able to respond uh, at a moment's notice to when things go bad. Now these deep set air defense are going to go down like dominoes here in a minute. He's saving that rage. There's his first rage. And you can already guess where he's going to play the second. Just watch it. That's if he even needs it. I don't know that he needs it. And he really doesn't at this point. He went ahead and used it, but he probably could have got away with it and swagged it. But hey, I don't blame you, Messiah or Messi. I, I don't like swags myself. I go ahead and play it. Uh, get it done and look at that hound he was so close to popping but he didn't but it's okay you don't need it oh he, he popped he popped guys great job messy excellent attack and i hope you guys enjoyed this false ending hype